Bank branch of the Okanagan Regional Library. And today I'm going to show you how to make a small moss terrarium. And I was thinking it would be a good craft for you to do with your mom or for your mom for Mother's Day because it is Mother's Day this Sunday. Um, so you only need a few things. I'm going to show you what you need. You need a jar. So this is a pickle jar. If you like pickles like we do, you're going to have lots of pickle jars around. It should have a lid because it's got to stay nice and moist inside the jar. So I have a pickle jar. I also have a small spice jar, which I thought would make a really cute little small moth terrarium. You're going to need some pebbles. So I've collected these pebbles from a local beach in different sizes. You're going to need some potting soil. So you don't need very much because moss doesn't have roots, so you don't need very much soil. You're going to need some dried moss. So I've collected this on uh, on my walks. So it's basically dried up sphagnum moss. Now you have to be cautious about harvesting moss from nature. You just you can't take it all from one spot. Just take a little bit and then from another spot take another little bit more and just don't take the entire clump of moss because it will regenerate. And also same thing for the live moss that we're going to use in our terrarium. You can see how nice and bright and green this is. So I've kept it in this little container and I've just been spritzing it with some water you see. Makes it nice and, and lively. And I also have <clears throat> some bits of interesting wood that we can put in our terrarium, okay? So why don't we start with the little teeny tiny ter terrarium and see how that goes. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do is a very simple process. You're just going to take your little spice jar and you're going to put some small pebbles. I'm going to put all these pebbles in. Maybe even a few more. And they're quite pretty to look at, so... There we go. There's our pebbles. The next thing we're going to put in there is the dried moss. So I'm just taking a little bit of my dried moss and I'm sticking it in there. And I'm going to use a spoon. Oh, that spoon doesn't fit. I'm going to use this end. And just push it in there. Maybe a bit more of the dried moss. So you can see we've got a layering effect already. Now we're going to take some of our potting soil. So just um, any kind of potting soil that you have around the house. We're going to put a small amount of potting soil in. Don't need very much. You can see this nice layering effect of the pebbles, the moss, and the potting soil. Now lastly, we're going to put in our little piece of moss. Now this is a very small jar, so we're going to find our smallest little bit of moss here. Here's a nice little bit. Now moss doesn't have any roots, so it doesn't need very much soil. So we're going to stick it in. Oops, it fell upside down. We've got to turn it over. We might need to, to use our spoon to get it the right way around. And then we're just going to press it into the soil. Okay, there's our little bit of moss. Now we're just going to give it a spray. So get the dirt out of it. Now these little guys, these terrariums, because they're enclosed, they don't need a lot of water. You can't really see the moss very well right now, but it's going to liven up as it stays in that nice humid jar. You can see the condensation there. And you've got the nice layering of the moss, the pebbles, and the dried moss, and the soil. So there's our little spice jar terrarium, and I, I think that would be a cute little present for your mom, maybe with a little note or a card that you could give her. 
So let's try our pickle jar terrarium. It's the same thing, except on a bigger scale. So we're going to start with our pickle jar and pour a lot of these nice pebbles in the bottom. So that's about an inch of pebbles. Now we're going to layer our dried moss, remember? Just got enough dried moss here. You can see the layer of dried moss there. What comes next? Our potting soil. So we're going to do about an inch potting soil. Oops, got something in our potting soil. Again, you can see the nice layering effect. Just going to add a little bit more. Easy peasy. Now we're ready for our moss. So we're going to use all of this moss. <clears throat> Isn't it pretty? I love moss. Look how cute it is. Okay, let's pop it in the jar. We're going to use all of this moss that I've collected. This one got a little bit dirty, so we're going to clean it up, get the dirt off of it. There, you can see how I've arranged the moss all around the jar. So this will grow and it'll spread, they'll spread into each other. Now this is all the same kind of moss, so it'll grow together nicely. And of course, now we have to spritz it. Now these guys don't need water, maybe about once a month, you might give it a little spray because the jar with the lid is going to keep it nice and moist. And moss like moisture. They like to be, uh, they like to be humid. That's what the jar is going to do. So you can see this cute little moss terrarium. So easy to make. And then I have this little stick. I thought I might stick in, but will it fit? It will not fit. Let's try this. One. Nope. I don't really like the stick anyway. I think it looks cute just like this. So I'm going to give it one more spritz. Now I'm going to put the lid on. Now you don't want to put it in, in, in really strong direct light, but if you put it sort of to the side where it gets light but not direct, um, it'll be happiest. So there's your little moss terrarium that you can make for your mom and you can make this from things that you just find around your house. You don't have to go out and buy anything, possibly the potting soil, but I'm pretty sure you, your mom or your dad might have some potting soil around, uh, the pebbles you can collect, the dried moss you can collect, and the live moss you can collect. Just like I said, be careful not to take too much moss from one spot. Just be aware that the moss needs to regenerate. So, and a spritzer bottle, which you probably have around the house as well. So there you go. There's two cute little moss terrariums, and you could keep one for yourself and give one to your mom. There you go. Happy Mother's Day. Keep planting.